Yeah, YouTubers, Taz Man here, bringing you another episode of Regrowth, where we're bringing this cold, dead, desolate world back to life, one block at a time. And it has been a long time since I've actually seen my whole skin. <laughs> We've always looked like that green caterpillar. So, in this episode, we're going to try, uh, once again, to see if we can uh, kill... Well, get those shard things we need. And one recommendation by another game, please, was maybe unlight that area so that we get the giant zombie and then we can just hit on him. He has like 60 hearts, so odds are we won't be able to one-shot him. The other thing is uh, Sky was agreeing, I guess, that uh, maybe splashing a weakness potion on ourselves might be a good solution. So I think we're going to try that one first. If that doesn't work, then we will go ahead and maybe try and get a ginormous zombie to spawn. One other thing, so I, I came down here and I was getting all ready to um, make auto harvesting down here with the drum, but then I remembered something. In order to make the drum work, we have to have mana pulse it. It's not a redstone pulse. So I was thinking it was a redstone pulse, uh, but actually that thing is mana. So that means I would have to have another setup like this guy. Um, and I have some ideas that might work. I'm, I'm not 100% sure if they will or will not. Um, but then also, I mean, if I just harvest that thing a couple times, they grow pretty quick. And if I harvest what I need a couple times, I mean, I went through and I harvested quite a few of things. I went and made just a ton of uh, emerald upgrades because all we had was these uh, little iron ones. But I made way more than I need of the emerald upgrades. I think I made like two stacks because that's me. It's, you know, go big or go home. Uh, so anyway... Uh, I increased this. You can see we actually have 5,000 iron now. We were running a little low on that. Uh, coal we were running a little low on. Uh, but pretty much uh, these things around here I, I, I increased just by harvesting. By the time I was done harvesting this entire thing, it was all pretty much grown again. So it does take a while to do all that harvesting. But I don't know. There's going to be a trade-off as to automating it with the drum and hopper hawks and all that fun stuff and you know us did I have I want to check some uh, and just having us actually um, harvest it solo I cannot jump over the fence uh, that's a, it's been a long time since I've even had to open those fence gates uh, so what we're gonna do is make some potions of weakness and I guess this weakness no that's poison definitely don't want that uh, we're gonna need three of these and go ahead boop, 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 like so uh, I got turned around just for a second uh, oh nope not you there we go uh, we'll do those, and then we need one of these. Oh, I already have fermented. Nice. I was thinking we are going to have to do that. <sighs> Let's see. So do that. And then, so let's check real quick. Do we have strength one, two, and all that fun stuff with uh, those? Uh, so let's do uh, W E A K weakness W E A K W E A K. Uh, so we have weakness does negative point five. So these are duration. It doesn't look like we can actually increase it. That doesn't seem like very much, though. Uh, but if we do the four-minute one, that is with redstone. 
these two the same? Those two are the same. So if we throw in a bit of redstone, we'll be able to get it up. So if we grab our one redstone here, oops, not you, and you, we'll be able to make it so we can drink it and get four minutes of weakness. And hopefully that will uh, make us so we can actually hit these guys at least twice. Now, another thing that was mentioned is if you're flying, you might actually be considered a crit hit because it's like as if you're running up and you jump and you swing at them just as you're jumping, uh, that gives a, a crit. And we definitely don't want that. So we want as much as we can, we want to just run in and smack them with the sword. So that's the plan. So right now we have weakness 130, 130. Yep. Of course, they're all going to be the same. And now they're four minutes each. All right, so let's head back down. Let's see what time of day it is. Well, it's raining. All right, so I can't really tell where the sun is because it's raining. But we'll definitely know when it's night, so that's definitely a good thing. And this thing, oh, it was off. I wish in the hot bar there it would like change to like maybe just a sword with a tiny little nub, kind of a round thing instead of the blade, so you could actually see it there, being on or off, have a an actual way of knowing that it's on or off right there. And kind of looks like the sun might be going down because we're getting some redness over there wait is that which direction is that uh it's f3 we need yeah west so my guess is the sun is starting to set over there but it's still raining so we can't see that so if we wait if we came over over here we'll be able to see some things start spawning maybe because it is definitely turning nighttime um, let's see I'm wondering maybe if we go over in that other area too we'd be better because we have all this lit up so like if we flew over here where there's absolutely no light is that one down there I think so yes it definitely is so we're definitely, oh, there's a witch. That could be good too. But she's up on the ledge. All right, let's drink this and see if it will do enough to us. Right, we're going to see if we can, there's an enderman. That could be a good one too. That's 20 hearts, I think, isn't it? No. Okay, so that's not working. <laughs> Dang it. Let's come back over. Let's go up here. Woo. All right, so yeah, that did not work, so that's not good. Uh, we got three minutes of one second. There we go. We're done being poisoned, so um, let's go ahead. And we're weak.
So if we come down here where the Hayward. Oh, here's the node. I'm like, where'd the node go? All right, so if we get F7, so we can get lighting information. I did hit F7, didn't I? F7. Do we, do we get lighting information on this? F7. There we go. What? Why is only right here? We got more torches. Oh, these guys uh, produce light, don't they? This guy doesn't, but apparently these guys do. I didn't know that. Thought I heard a zombie. I definitely hear a zombie. Is it a big one? There we go. An angry zombie. Come here. And, oh, oh sweet. Give me another one. <laughs> My inventory's all full. So, were we hearing it growling before it spawned? There we go. So we can like two hit these guys. That time we did not get one. Oh, I don't have any more. Alright, hold on. I don't think I... That's a regular zombie. Uh, let's go ahead and get rid of these. We have a zombie down here that wants to play. <sighs> How many do we need for this quest? Oh, let's check. Is that like a, what is that? A zombie skeleton? Hey, come here. Dude, it's not even facing me. What is that? Oh, that's his helmet. That was a zombie. <laughs> All right, come on, make me some more. So does that act like a spawner where you, yeah, it kind of seems like it acts like a spawner. Oh, nice. So that did from 60 to 23. Ouch. What is that? Oh, it's one of those heads. I do not like the little head guy. He moves too fast. Come here, you little head. Are we getting more? We've only got one. Come here. Where'd he go? I only got one. Oh, they're down here. Do I have to, like, wait a second? No, it doesn't seem like it. Alright, hold on. Okay, give me some more. So how many do I need for this, this quest? Uh, is I think it's just one. The world bleeds. Open. It is just one that we need. But it, we don't get those very often. There's one. Oh, stupid head thing. Eat those heads. <laughs> there we go. Now we got a couple. Holy cow, we got a whole stack of. Stay back. 
Okay, so we definitely, you definitely get a lot of uh, zombie flesh from doing this. Um, so the question is, if I put this stuff on, will I one-shot him? Oh, well, now I can see the thing better because of my helmet. Come on, give me one more. At least one more. Because I do get a feeling we need quite a few of these things in order to uh, get the the blood things for the tier 4. Not 100% sure. Come on. I'm waiting. And waiting. Mr. Sinister Node. <laughs> hey, don't be spreading yet. Oh, we're a little hungry. I'll put one there. The sun is on the rise, so maybe, um, maybe the time is where it, uh, maybe it only does it during night. Hello, you dark little sinister node, you. All right, I think we're going to pretend that that is all it's going to do. I think I didn't break any torches down here. So that definitely seemed to work. I'm curious if my armor would stop me or make it so I one shot them. I kind of feel like it wouldn't because let's see I was doing I was doing about 40 some odd points of damage because I took them what was it from 60 down to 23 is that what it was no actually that's 30 yeah I think so so at least we got our shards now. We got four of them. We get six more when we complete the quest. Hopefully we don't need a lot for the next piece. But let's uh, let's go in here real quick. Cause I do think I'm I'm running low on. I have 99 rotten flesh and 12 zombie brains. So there we go. 241 zombie flesh now. So let's go ahead, head over here, and uh, we'll complete this quest. Looks like a skeleton died over here. Maybe not. I think I just saw that. I thought I saw a bone. Uh, let's see. So if we go into our quest book, we can now say claim reward. We'll have a total of 10 of those. Right click to get out. And now... All that's done so we're just here and then we have these two I don't know if it's gonna open anything more um, let's see if we go here 84 I kind of feel like it's not going to so these might be the last two blood quests uh, that we need but we do need the large bloodstone brick which I'm pretty sure if I go to usage uh, actually maybe not usage uh, this is what we need for on top of those four guys so uh, I think that was is that in this book the sanguine sanctum sanctum whatever it's called wandering demon girls what I'll go back uh, spell tip top game spell effects for beginners uh, this doesn't seem like it's the one I needed, but I do remember that to make tier four I Had to have some red blocks up here, and I think it was what we were just talking about I think it's those those blocks in fact 
Let's let's make Sky proud of us, and we'll go see because it might actually tell us right here. More information and a diagram about upgrading the altar to tier four can be found in Sanguim Sanctum under the Architect, uh, the Life of a Mage tier four. Now you got your blood shards. You're capable. How do we need to? Do? We need to make one, and this will give us a couple another orb. Now you've got your blood shards. You're capable of further enhancing your altar up to tier four. So how do we make these things? There is no button, so we're gonna have to. It was this book, right? Sanguine Sanctum, and they said in the oh, architect. Something about a mage. Tier two, tier three, and tier four. Yes, so I have it all laid out for tier four. We just have to place those on top. Uh, does this tell us, or do I have to read this whole thing to know how to make those? Because it's definitely not telling us. Uh, let's see, we're at 21 minutes. Uh, let's just go ahead and read what we can of it real quick. So once more, I must make a progress update. As daily life has uh, has taken up most, I think it's supposed to be has taken up most of my time. These last few weeks, Magus has started offloading some of his work onto us, dealing with small problems and formal matters, bandits and demons, and the general mage work. I have been able to do a little work on the altar or or blood magic in general over the last few months because of this. Thankfully. We've burned through most of the grunt work uh, that has piled up, and I now have some time to conduct our research. Magus and I uh, have spent the last week doing calculations for upgrading the altar, determining that a bloodstone should work for the capstone. And now it's just a matter of seeing how many runes we can get away with adding without uh, get away with adding without nasty side effects or it all just blowing up the other three uh, have placed bets on this I believe so this is what we gotta make does it tell us anything <clears throat> excuse me <clears throat> after another few weeks of testing balancing and error uh, we have finished the altar upgrade this new tier adds 28 more runes uh, to the altar structure, 7 on each side for a grand total of 56, and 4 pillars capped with large bloodstone brick. This was the best material we could find that doesn't expire or fall apart or, in one memorable case, actively try and kill us. <laughs> With these additional runes, we are projected to be making roughly 1,300 LP for every heart sacrificed. Wow. A hefty improvement from our 700 from before. Unfortunately, more work has come in for us. So once we have the altar built, uh, it will be some time before we can focus on the hunt for the material uh, for the orb. Current plan is to start with, a with precious materials like before and work from there. Ah, innovation. 10% work, 15% knowledge, 5% patience, 70% trying random things to see what happens. More work than expected flooded in at once. And we have been struggling to keep up with it all. Vlad has been acting as a healer and a doctor trying to deal with the play, a plague that has has going around caused by a witch in training using the wrong vial in a love potion and has managed to keep it from running wild. Demir has been clearing uh, out known bandit camps and has enjoyed a chance to test out the spells we've uh, we've helped him build only in the mage guild are bandits considered an endangered species this is in part due to this is a really long parenthesis it, wait yeah there's parenthesis 
I don't even know where it ends. Uh, this in part, yeah, this in part due to the average intelligence level of said bandits and thinking that an area where there are people who sometimes quite literally shoot fire out of their hands, mouse, and other places, mostly apprentice mages as a joke or party trick that has often gone very wrong, is a great place to set up shop. Oh, there's the close parenthesis. Uh, I can't read what that says. Dala, fella, I don't know. Meanwhile, it has been dealing with the demons that have been wandering, uh, wandering in the mage guild, acting as a sort of beacon to them, uh, due to the th thinness of the fabric of space here, caused by countless magical experience. This is just a story, both successful and not. Magus and I have been going through a huge pile of letters. Seriously, uh, where are they all coming from, and how do I not notice the pile building up until it flows off the table? From local villages and mages, ranging from simple questions about an issue or problem to requests for assisting in matters ranging from theft to flooding. Uh, we've we've been coordinating these issues, mapping out journeys to deal with as many po uh, as possible on one trip. As a reference point for how long it has taken us to deal with it all, uh, dust has gathered on this book since the last time I wrote. Thankfully, we've sorted out the letters and referenced the villagers to mages. Reference? Yeah. Who are closer to them much to much to said mage charging so it would be a while until this is an actual issue again thankfully all this time has left me with a few ideas for future projects all right so that didn't actually explain how to do that i might have to go look through some of these other ones or uh, do some more research Let's just make sure once again. B L O O D blood flood. Is that what it was called? Well, that's not bad. Oh dang, thirty-two. Whoa! All we need is four. All right, we're doing this. <laughs> it's. Let's go sleep real quick because we don't need this part. Hello, there we go. I know we're at 28 minutes. Uh, last week, the the uh, Pathfinder video went really long. Wait, no, that wasn't the Pathfinder. Never mind, forget what I'm saying. Uh, so we need stone, which clearly I do not have here. I don't even have cobblestone, dang it. All right, well, let's put all but one of these in here. Because it seems like all we need is one, right? Let's, let's make sure it's the large one. Large bloodstone brick, yes. All right, so let's go here real quick. I'm pretty sure we have stone in one of these. Gravel, 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 andesite, andesite, gravel, limestone. I could have swore I made some stacks of stone, actually. Could it be in here? S-T-O. That's all I need. I need one. And that, sweet. All right, so um, done that. Let's go ahead, go in our book real quick. So that's done. Now we need to make a demonic slate. So we'll have to find out how to do that and do that in the next episode. I'm gonna throw these down here. So right now we have a tier three and we have all these blood runes. So yeah, if we mouse over that, it says tier three. We're gonna go ahead and 
What else do we use these for? Why is there 32 of them that we get? Two, three, and a four. And we'll just put the other ones in here for now. That should have gave us time to update. And boom, we are now tier four, baby. Tier four. Nice. All right, so I think we're gonna call it here. Um, we found out the uh, a solution to our problem of us just being so darn powerful. We just uh, fight some angry zombies with our sinister node. So that was really actually good news that we got that sinister node. In other words, we would be in trouble. I think we'd be able to go to that witch area. I wonder if those ghost things that chase us in the in the witch area, the what did they call it? Something nightmare or something. Um, I wonder if we'd be able to kill those with that. Don't know. Anyway, that'll do. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed. If you did, we're Caterpillar again. If you did, be sure to leave thumbs up down below. Aside from that, did I turn it off? Aside from that, comment, like, and subscribe. I can't tell. Right click. There we go. Uh, comment, like, subscribe, follow me on Twitter, check out my Discord and my other channels, and let's grow this channel tell everyone you know about it if they like it they can sub and we can just grow this channel make it great big it gives me incredible motivation for recording and uh i really like to you know the more people there are the merrier the more comments we get i get to answer them it'll be awesome so like i said tell everyone i kind of look goofy eyed <laughs> sorry just getting a little sidetracked but like i said tell everyone you know and until next time, I'll be seeing you later. Bye.